This is work. Building our dream. <laughs> it's what our dream looks like. <laughs> it's a pretty sad. <laughs> it's more like a nightmare. <laughs> What's up everyone? All right, on this week with 3E Outdoors, we're actually gonna make an A-frame shelter. And we found our little spot here, um, not too bad. At the bottom of this little hillside, we got a creek right down there. there. Nice sitting log, and this is pretty flat, um, pretty nice. There's no big trees to fall on us or anything like that as well. So it's a solid little spot, you can see back there. But we're gonna scrounge up some um, ridge pole and um, Pulls for the A-frame and then um, get some rocks for a fire pit. Kind of make a nice little campsite down here. Squirrel. And uh, yeah, and oh, apparently Dee's distracted by a squirrel. Oh, seriously. Where's the squirrel? All right, right next to the water. He's a really, uh, really red tail. A red tailed squirrel? I don't even know where you're, where are you All right, looking? right there, see him, see him? He's moving. Oh, oh there he is, there he's moving. I must be blind. No, you are oh, technically. Oh, okay, yes, okay yeah, blind, I see it. So. I know I am. Without my context, I am blind. All right, so we're gonna go and uh, get the stuff and start building. Nature. Ooh. Yep, I'm getting there. Slowing back up this hill. Get some more wood for the A-frame. There's some good dead wood that's uh, down. So we don't want to cut any fresh, fresh stuff, so. Very nice. Yes. Let's run. Let's do it. Time lapse time. <laughs> Stupid and new. Oh shit. Woo! Gonna burn those suckers. I think that's uh, sufficient. Sufficient. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so we've got the fire pit at least uh, set up to start with. We're gonna clear the grass out. Um, we're gonna put the A-frame right here. And, um, and then use, use this grass as um, matting In for the top. Insulation. For insulation, for protection from the elements. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. I feel like a real boy. <laughs> oh. All right, so we got all of our supplies. Um, just a bunch of dead downed tree limbs and trees. Um, that way we're not cutting anything new down. And then um, we're gonna set the A-frame started right here. Get uh, a few pulls to start off. We're gonna do a shear lashing up here. Um, we've got a reg pull, so we'll line that up back there and then do another A on the back side, and then we'll fill in the sides um, for the walls and then we'll cap it off with um, some bark and um, grass and everything else that we found to insulate it. All right, let's do it. Let me grab, get some paracord. Nice and bright so you can easily see what we're doing and where, where the lashings go. All right, now I just gotta now find the ends of this. screwed that thing. up. It was Walmart's fault? <laughs> it just Let's blame. came out we of don't, the... Wow. We don't blame Walmart. How did I mess that up so quickly? I don't know. The two pulls for the A-frame. The bottom's even there, pretty much. Yep. Okay, good deal. All right. So a clove hitch. we're gonna start with a clove hitch. Start right about here. So for a shear lashing for this frame, it's lined up there. I'm gonna start with the clove hitch. I'm gonna go over, back around, cross over that first one, and then come back under so it's forming an X. And I'm gonna come up right up the middle of that X. Boom, there we go. Now that I've got that, I can just throw that tail down. I'm gonna go over that one, 
back up under, and it's kind of just a weave back and forth. Of course, I've got so much going on here. Okay. Keep it tight. There we go. And then just keep cutting back and forth on it. Oh, look at that. That's a tick. Find one? Nice. Yep. Now it's a real camp out. Yeah, no kidding. Right. And got him. Okay. All, right. All right, so you want to do that um, as many times as you feel necessary. It doesn't need too many wraps. I do at least three, um, three or four rounds. And then to cap it off, you want to do what's called a frap. Second tick. And he's Zach's just a tick machine over here. Mm. So on this final one, instead of weaving this way, you're gonna go against it right here, up the middle. Ah, if I can get my fat fingers through there. And then this just locks it in place, keeps it everything nice and tight. If I can weasel my way through that. I feel like that tick's gonna get views. I should call him Frank. That was Frank the <laughs> that's, Tick. That's our thumbnail right there, is just a tick. Frank the Tick. All right, so see how it's tightening everything up. And do two passes on that, and then I'll end it another right back with another cold fitch. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> it's felt like centuries. So there we go, there we got our shear lashing. I'll cut off the extra. Don't need that. Give it a little bit of tail so it doesn't run through it. And then toss that to the side. Alrighty. Now, so we've got one. Now we need to make another one so we can set it up with our reg pole. Right. How's that gonna stand? Show us. So. Uh, just like that. Okay. So, makes a nice little A for him. How's it going over there? Hate rope. <laughs> Time to do some more. Stockpile we gathered over there. All right, second A frame. All righty. You got this, right? It's all me. Perfect. Carry on. Let me just. Slide under here. <coughs> hey, do you guys want to do a catching cook? Hey! You want to do a catching cook? We caught one trout. <laughs> kind of killing the vibe here. Uh, <laughs> right. Ant. Okay, so now we need to lash, lash this top. So, hand me that real quick. You do the Canadian jam. What the hell's the Canadian jam? Why don't you do it then? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I just know what it is. Clip. I'm not gonna do it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I do, boo! <laughs> you know how I do. <laughs> Alright, now we're Thing. Use this so it doesn't lean back.
All right. Place the bark. Bark's placed, Aaron. Perfect. Perfect bark placement. <laughs> bark and grass. I think grass. Wall of grass. <laughs> Halfway there. <laughs> that actually worked a lot better than I thought it was it gonna. It really did. All right. Um. If I right. their Peeled off some bark from a dead log, so good shingling siding for our A frame. So, Is that, you said that side still got a better? lot of work on that side. That's got my, more sticks. That's my side. Yeah, good job. All right. Thanks. Here we're working Aaron's on some more. grass, and then we're gonna <laughs> also we're layering, layering, and uh, layering. Layering. we're gonna Living intertwine like our <laughs> what? What what, am, what is it called? What, I just said it. Now I brain farted. Weaving. Oh well, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're Fire just gonna weave better. some sticks Fire. as well. <laughs> So that way we can add layers to it as well. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get in there. I have high standards. There we go. Oh, Copperhead. Holy Woo! Shit. He is right next to my We got a snake. Where's he at? Right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at him. Nice little Copperhead. What a cute. Woo! Close one. Careful, Yep, so definitely watch your hands when you're out outdoors. Never know what you're going to run into. Dude! Alrighty, so. Here's our aim frame right here, and twigs in there um, to hold it up. And pretty solid there, not too bad. All right, and then there's the front. That's an A frame. And it's pretty nice out, and um, this will act as a good windbreak. And if it sprinkles or something, it'll hold that off, but not. it's not supposed to rain, so don't have to make it waterproof, watertight right now. But definitely offers a good little shelter. All right, everyone, so that's our A-frame, and um, that's it for this episode on 3 Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Appreciate it.